Snooper Thursday! Woo! Woo! And it's the round three and final semi-final round. Final. Final semi-final there are round. No more so deadlines. That? It's yeah. the final semi-final. Let's get yeah. it. Yeah. And so um, we have two beers today. And that's two. it. Just two. Uh, there, but there they are, there. this is like the, the clash of the titans, as far as I'm concerned. These are two, like... In our world, yeah. Yeah, in the, well, in the, in the social media Twitterverse, these guys are, like, very well-known, mm -hmm. very well-respected craft or homebrewers. So, Noteworthy. Yeah, so I'm, I was really happy that they even graced us with a submission. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, not that that had any influence At over the, the judging of it. I mean, we judged mm -hmm. these the same way we have before. In fact, I think Peter submitted once before, and we said no. Peter is Peter Kennedy. This yeah. is his beer. He's known as simply Beer on Twitter. So uh, he said he is, took uh, our no, and he told I us. I like how go. we're talking about yeah, it's Clash of the Titans, and no one knows what we're talking about. Yeah. This is Peter <laughs> Kennedy's beer. Uh, this is uh, uh, Dark Helmet, and this is Kelsey McNair, his beer, uh, Hop Fu. You might know him from such beers as Stone San Diego County Session Ale that yeah. they did with I think was it. It was um, Palace, Palace Point. Point. Yeah. yeah, Palace Point style. So, Kelsey were, McNair. He was the, Kelsey McNair fame. Every yeah. year, for those of you who don't know, every year a, uh, Stone and the AHA do a rally at Stone, and they do a, a competition, and the winner brews that beer in collaboration with Stone and right. possibly another brewery if they want to. And in this case, Kelsey wanted to brew with Colby from Ballast Point because this beer has uh, some connection to Ballast Point. If it, I think it's the even keel. This beer, not this beer. Uh, well, the San Diego Session, sorry. Right. The San Diego Session had that connection because he liked even keel, but he that's where he got the idea to do a super hoppy version of that. Yeah. So. Well, plus, I mean, Kelsey's really big in, like, the San Diego scene. He's a Quaff member, and right. so, you know, they really, at, like, yeah. keep it local. By the way, you know. before we continue, this is Matt Becker. Oh, Remember? yeah, this guy. <laughs> He's a I prefer to be anonymous, so thanks, but whatever. <laughs> He's like, wow, and my last name. Thanks. Yes. Uh, we'll have his address posted in the, the show notes, so just go ahead and stalk him. That's, That's cool. for the ladies. He's putting his birth so. certificate up so you know he was born in the United States. My social security number is 332. No, it's not at all. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, so, um, yeah, so Matt's joining us. Matt is also a local home brewer here in the area. I'm Sam Perdue. Yeah. Sam Perdue. Not um, by choice. Um... Wow, yeah, see, see nice. earlier how you were, he was like, oh, IE, yeah, for life, man. I was like, not by choice. Yeah, but no, you know what the thing is, though, is <laughs> that there's a difference. It's a bit of a stigma. Yeah, exactly. There's a difference between, like, you know, like Inland Empire and San Bernardino. I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone from San Bernardino. You know, I got yeah, we some We just lost some the love. three guys that watch our show. Yeah, I like yeah. San Bernardino. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But anyone that knows San Bernardino knows there's a part of San Bernardino that isn't that great, I guess you could say. That's a probably, very generous way of putting it. It's probably the oldest it. part of San Bernardino. Like, oh, yes. The new parts by Cal State San Bernardino are actually really, really That's nice. That's actually where we live. Like, we live right by the... Uh, um, I was looking for a house down there, like, before I bought my house. Yeah, no, we actually live right by the highway that goes up the mountain, up to, like, Arrowhead and stuff yeah. like that. It's a good area, so, you know. Anyway, he's from the so IE. So that's, cool. uh, that's about San Bernardino. Yeah. And, uh... Who thought we just we were, lost who, everyone on the yeah, Who thought right we now. were going to learn about San Bernardino today? Not me. I was just so, waiting for you to pour the beer is all. So, so yeah, we're, what we're drinking is hot food. This is an IPA. Um, from Kelsey McNair. From Kelsey McNair. And I poured myself the biggest glass. Mm. Um, That's okay. Yeah. This has a phenomenal aroma on it. It's yeah. very, very quintessentially San Diego. You yeah. Know, big citrus. Yeah. Yeah. Big citrus I mean, IPAs. It's yeah, like, it's, it's grapefruit almost like and perfect, delicious. You know? Yeah. It smells Freaking awesome! That's what you want your IPAs to smell like. Yeah, and kind of like one that, thing that Sculpin smell, mm -hmm. that kind of yeah. It's, yeah. Got, it's got a little bit of that like tropical fruitiness kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And Kelsey shipped these to us wrapped in dry ice, so they have been cold the whole time. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, it's like oh, that's man awesome. knows how to treat his IPAs. He's hardcore sure. mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So um, before we drink this, let's cheers to homebrew and to. Kelsey and Peter. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for being our last two entries for this, this yeah, round. Yeah, totally. Two great entries. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, like you said, there's, there's a lot of citrus on this, a lot of... Uh, oh, God. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think the hot bill is on this? Oh, it's hard yeah. to say. You know, I mean, there are so many different combinations that could put out this kind of delicious, you know... And I don't know if he wants to just, like throwing that out there. Well, it's he sent it to me, but I, 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 I also forgot that piece of paper at home. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. I'm going to say I cascades. That a lot. I forget things. Leave them at my house. Microphone cables, beers. Yeah, that's you know, okay. So, yeah. but anyway, it's got a it's got a great hopper on it. It's very citrusy, very oh. very much in like you, you get that nice 
blast on your nose and on your mouth as you're drinking it. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's got, I mean, the first thing, it hits you so much like yeah. citrus peel and like that kind of, it's almost like pithy, but in a delicious way. Right. You know, it's super dry. And there's none of the, there's none of the pucker, like the, what do we call it, the throat rape? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it kind of gets get you back from, there. Or uh, just what's, what what hop was that? That uh, Chinook. Chinook, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chinook will tear your the face throat apart. Rape pop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but no, it's nice. I mean, the, the bitterness is the bitterness is nice and firm, but it's not like too thrash, you know, you know palate thrashing. Right. I guess you could say. No, it's, it's a refreshing. Great. Beer finishes nice and nice and dry. Um, the hops are like the taste of the hops and the smell of the hops are perfectly balanced. Yeah. You know? So how many of these could you have? Um, too many. I, well, yeah, I think I think this is like a seven percent. I want to say, so it's not super high in alcohol, but it's high enough that if you have three or four, you're gonna be. I'm loving life. You're gonna notice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we have. We'll, People we'll, will be far more attractive than they really are to you. <laughs> so alcohol taking out of it, like how many of these could you have before it like overwhelming hoppiness? Oh, I could drink these all day long. It wouldn't bother me yeah. the least. I'm that kind of hoppy. I don't know. It's I know what you're strong, saying, but it's like yeah. it's they're, refreshing enough. Mm. I could. I know what you're alluding to though, because there's sometimes when I'm drinking really hoppy beers and IPAs and stuff where it's just like, you know what? I am hopped that. F out. Like, I do not want to drink any more hoppy beers. Yeah. I want yeah, just, so I can only have Belgium. a mild. <laughs> yeah. and I want a uh, freaking sour. So right. That's the name names, but I mean, like, Ranger does that to me, where it's like, really? I can drink three or four of them, really? and they're really good, but after that point, they start to get salty. Uh, okay. You know, I gotta say, I'm like that with West Coast. Like, I love West Coast, but it's not one of the ones that I can have, like, you know, four of if right. I'm at home and not driving. Um, but <laughs> If I am drinking and consuming safely. Exactly, home. exactly. Um, but, uh, you know, this is definitely something I could drink multiple bottles of. Absolutely. Uh, easily. Absolutely. Yeah. Given, the, you know, the right... Circumstances. And this is just a single IPA, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess. I mean, it tastes. We're gonna have like stats put on the screen. Of yeah, yeah. <laughs> there will be information somewhere floating yeah. around. Yeah, if you so. watch the last couple, it kind of comes in from like this side, I think, or this side, and like, you'll see everything. <laughs> after so. not having had a sip in a while, because I drank it way too quickly, oh. like it just feels like I had a hot pellet in my mouth, and it's just like kind of like I spit it's it like all that, out. It's like that it's hot just candy. That, that taste that's still on your tongue, you know? Yeah, it's kind of there. I'm gonna throw out that I'm getting a little hint of Simcoe. I may just destroy my reputation right away, mm -hmm. but I think I'm getting Simcoe on this. Somewhere. I want to say, I want to say, if I remember correctly, and I probably don't because I've been looking at a lot of hop statistics lately. But like, I think it's Simcoe, Centennial, and Amarillo. Nice. So I, but I'm not. He could be completely you know, wrong. I could. Yeah, I'm probably yeah, exactly. down. So. But you know what? It, even if not, I mean, like that, like Simcoe Amarillo combo is so magical. Right. You know. It works really well. Yeah, Great exactly. Beer. Good job, Kelsey. Yeah. Well done. Way to go. Well done. Um, so now we're going to go to the other side of the country, to the East Coast, and we're going to be drinking a Schwartz beer. Schwartz. And he, he totally went with the Spaceballs reference with the name. It's called Dark Helmet. And uh, if you don't watch Space, or you've never seen Spaceballs, then you are not allowed to watch our show and shut it off right it now. It confused me as a child. <laughs> I was me. like, why is that helmet so big? And why is that the guy from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Oh, <laughs> dark helmet. Your helmet is so big. He's not that short. I know. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. that Mel Brooks kind of has that effect that on, like, yeah. you know. He's uh -oh. that size. Watch your, watch your, watch your. Brad, nice Brad save. distracted me. Matt was here to save the day. Nice save. I got a little bit of spillage, so, you know. So, Peter brewed us a Schwartz beer. It's a, uh, and if you don't know what a Schwartz beer is, I don't know it's, what a, Schwartz beer is. it's a dark Schwartz. lager from Germany. Schwartz. Oh, I like yeah. dark lager. Schwartz. Black lager better. Yeah, that's the American way to say it. Yeah. Like, juxtaposition, like American. juxtaposition was a black pilsner, a hoppy black pilsner. Right. Um, so um, they were the, the first American brewery to do that. Midnight Sessions from um, Port is yeah. actually like a Schwarz beer. They take the second runnings from the uh, the Serpent Stout, I think, and then they just throw lager yeast at it. And, right. You know, so it's a it's another huh. relatively easy to find sample of style. I don't even know if you can find any German imports. What I like about yeah. Schwarz beers is, is that they kind of bring a nice like uh, when you when you drink a Schwarz beer, you're you're looking for that lager characteristic, that clean, crisp, lager esque feel to it, but the the Schwartz beer style brings in kind of like a smoother mouthfeel, mm -hmm. um, a little bit more of like the chocolate and just a hint of the coffee in the back end. It's almost like a perfect marriage between a porter and a, a, a lager. Yeah, but it's still super sessionable, you know, right. like, just like any other super German beer. Super low, yeah, super low alcohol yeah. usually, and they just, they, they pair really well with sausages. Sausages. Mm. Yeah, like German sausages go so freaking good with this. That's very nice. No, it's interesting having that like, 
you know, roasty kind of characteristic, but not having that, you know, fruity ale estuary behind right. it. Right. You know, it's like and, clean you know, but roasty, which is an interesting kind of And what's really cool know, about them is that thing. if you get like a, a bomber of a Schwartz beer right. and you go to a party and someone has like a 12 ounce bottle of Schwartz beer, you can go up to them and be like, I see your Schwartz is bigger than mine. Mm. So that's what Steve would do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That is a really I'm cool a reason to yeah. buy short yeah, so, yeah. Well, see, I'm more, yeah. I'm, I'm, cool, I'm more I mean, like opposite of cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, more, nice. I'm more friendly. Just come up and be like, the Schwartz is with us both. <laughs> it's with us both. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but so this was this was a fantastic entry, and uh, we want to thank everyone who submitted. Um, we're looking forward to judging the final round, which is going to happen on July. 4th. Yeah, people have already started tweeting about their organic brews that they mm -hmm. brewed yeah. and shipped mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna actually be up there July fourth in San Francisco. We're gonna be the fourth uh, of July. Fourth of July. I'm take. I'm getting rid of my holiday for you, home brewers. Just so you know. Oh, uh, what a what a what, what a, a sacrifice. what a sacrifice! I have to go to Jeez. San Francisco and drink amazing homebrew. Someone you who doesn't celebrate please holidays. Please feel bad for me. <laughs> poor, Someone poor who never bastard. celebrates holidays. <laughs> yeah, well, that's I fair. have to give up my holiday. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, Bill and I are traveling up, and uh, Bill and. Uh, Daniel from Bison Brew will be doing the final judging. It'll be proxied, so they don't know which beers are which. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, and we're looking forward to actually brewing the winner's beer commercially on in the mid, mid part of August, depending on who wins and what their schedule's like and that kind yeah. of thing. So um, really looking forward to that. And again, thank everybody for submitting. We're going to actually send you off to a Master Pairings right now. As a bonus, how about that? Because last Speaking two episodes, I know I will. four. There's only two, so you got you got a master pairings. Yeah, it won't Lucky be it, it won't be a homebrew, but it'll be a really awesome beer. And it's also not part two of our cigar series that's coming next month. So yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another Master Pairings with me, Dr. Bill, and I have Steven with me today. Woot! Uh, so, I know you've been really looking forward to this pairing, Steven. You always want to stick this crazy sh** in my mouth. This is fabulous. This is Southampton Saison Cuvée de Fleurs. Mm -hmm. I first amazing. had this in 2004, and I've loved it ever since. I've had multiple bottles sent to me. Um, I just love the beer, obviously from Southampton, New York. Uh, it's a Saison that's made with... Uh, Four different flowers, five different flowers, actually. Uh, I don't remember all of them. Marigold, lavender, dog rose, and uh, not sure what the third one is. The fifth one, of course, is H. lupulus. Right. You know that flower. That's a hop? Yes. That is the hop, period. So this is a fabulous 8.2% saison. Right on. Big, like us Americans do our Looking saisons. Looking forward to it. How many turns on a cage every time? Six. Six exactly. Good job, boys, over at Southampton. Cheers. Yeah, it's got beautiful lavender notes, spice. Yeah. Obviously, you can smell a lot of the flower quality, the floral quality to it, but more so than the normal kind of floral quality you get off an IPA. This is very, like, walking through so a garden. So good. A great American Saison. We got these great... Snails or great. escargot. This is great. Escargot. <laughs> yes. So uh, these are wild helix snails imported from France. Wild helix. Don't be afraid of them. Are they faster than normal snails? Obviously not. <laughs> um, don't be afraid of them. That's green though. They're like Vulcan well, snails. <laughs> the snail's a snail, first of all. all right. I've had snails with just nothing to them, just seared on a grill right. in France. But I've had I've had escargot before, right? But never in the shell. The shell is what's freaking me out. Yeah, right don't now. worry about the shell. The All shells right. are clean. The snails are in there. And the way we eat snails here and mainly in France, they're so benign because why? Garlic, mm -hmm. butter, and parsley. All that is is a parsley paste, almost like a pesto. Okay. So it's really that's what you're going to be tasting a lot of. The snail is great. It's cooked. So what you do is you grab the shell. You can kind of see there's a dark piece in there. Yeah. You kind of pull it up like this and out. Oh, this is a big one. Look at that. That's, that is beautiful, everybody. I am. I should give you. I've this. got nothing here. Here, <laughs> let me help you here. Oh God, no. Go ahead. <laughs> Step up. There you go. In some countries, this means that we're engaged. <laughs> now try it with your beer. Mm. Wasn't that good? Oh, good. 
I got another big one. The texture is a lot better than I'm used to. Um, snails, when you order them in a restaurant, kind of come off a little bit like snot. But this actually has a very meaty, very delicious quality to it. I don't know what McDonald's you're getting snails from, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, they're not like oyst raw oysters. They have a, did you find it in there? Yeah, I did. And they're you just, gotta, it's, it's all about the wrist. You got to twist yeah. and come out. And they're oh. just delicious. They are, they're really good. God, I hate when I eat my words on this show. But how are they? Get used to it. Oh, it's really good. And it, this is a beautiful pairing with this beer. The, the, it's so sensuous. The parsley pe uh, paste kind of mm -hmm. brings out all the floral notes in this beer again. The garlic lingers in the background the whole time with the mm -hmm. butter. And it's just, it's just a subtle, amazing pairing. It goes really well. Look at you. Can't stop now. I know. Seriously, I'm gonna like, I'm eating them all. Deal with it. Not bad. Now that um, I'm an expert in pulling them out. Even with the. Uh, now, if you hold this up to your ear, can you hear the ocean? Yes, but only the Atlantic. <laughs> only the Atlantic. Um, six of these, even with the butter that's in them, the mm -hmm. garlic thing, they're they're very high in protein, and they're actually probably only about 250 calories for six of them. Right on. So it's a perfect little appetizer when when you're with somebody, date, romantic date, for example, eat the escargot. And apparently, you can feed them to the other person. Yes. That wasn't awkward at all. <laughs> I think it goes great though. Like well, thank you uh, once again for opening my palate to something that I would not normally have tried. Good. Glad to do it. Cheers. Thanks everybody for coming to another Master Pairings. All right, so we're back for Master Pairings, obviously, because we're here. Was it rad? And uh, you're not in Bill's Kitchen anymore. I think in uh, that Master Pairings, you had some kind of shelled item with green stuff in it. Mm. Was that the time that I had the green stuff? Yeah. Because that creeped me out. I didn't. No, that, made, was the, that was the lobster one we did a long love time ago. No, stuff. yeah, the lobster is when we had the innards, whatever it's called. Oh, that, that was, that was good. Too. No, oh, that was that, well, that. it was gross putting it in my mouth. It tasted phenomenal, but yeah. it was gross. No, but those made for really good pictures. Like, I remember taking the pictures going, yeah. this looks cool. It's like a show with fluorescent green and stuff. Matt, do you something. like eating whatever? Like, are you open minded? <laughs> that's, that's, like that's like a weird turn on. That's like a weird like way to hit no, on somebody. Oh, yeah. Hey baby, do you like to I will eat, eat stuff? Anything. <laughs> Pretty um, much. I am I am open minded. Um, I don't like vegetables. But besides that, you know, the same, same way. way. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually vegetarian? do love vegetables. Yeah. And now, if it's, who's if, the fattest one here? Me. Uh, There's no. something wrong in this universe. <laughs> so. Well, you like vegetables and other. I like vegetables <laughs> and a plethora of fast food joints. Yeah. So vegetables on my hamburgers. Hmm. Like he'll have a plate of vegetables, <laughs> but then there's like a tri-tip steak next to it. <laughs> no, stop yeah. it. Uh, yes, yeah, I so, too. I'm not talking. Shit. No, I know. I know. Everyone so anyway, you might notice that there's another bottle of beer here, which is awkward what? because where did that come from? Yeah, ah. and it's obviously homebrewed because I don't know what this label is. That was a. Very if you look really carefully at the Lego le lo uh, Legos. The logos, there's no Legos. On <laughs> the this Legos. Beer. If you look very closely at the label, you'll notice that it's Matt a Becker's name is on it. Who is this guy right here? Not hey, Matt Becker, nice. this is your beer. We're going to drink it. Yeah, we're not having it as like a consolation prize on the show. Yeah, Matt did enter our homebrew competition. Um, and he actually won. Yeah, he actually did win. He was You were supposed to be here on the, the, the thing. But we kind of then met Matt and hung out with him a few times, and we fell instantly in love. Turns out I'm awesome. Matt's yeah, <laughs> turns out he's really good in bed. Oh, just kidding. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. well, he's, so, just, he's just heard rumors. Yeah. He's just heard rumors. So um, we... John and I and Brad and um, Bill have been talking about adding someone to the show because we want to do uh, we want to have a little more flexibility for when one of us is out of town or when we want to do four man shows or or perhaps you know whatever of, yeah a so bit of blogging mm, want to do a potato sack race right. you know, like so, <laughs> New Brew Thursday has gone from four guys to five yep. we are now the five guys beer show yay but we're not called that because we don't want to get saved by five guys uh, <laughs> there's an asterisk on the, the bottom of the screen <laughs> not actually the five guys not actually the five guys beer we're show we're changing our name to five guys drinking beer <laughs> <laughs> oh Matt and Eric don't sue us for that either uh, <laughs> so we're going to pop his Saison that actually won our no, it's competition. Not a it's, it's American Wild. Oh, that's right. Well, that's it, actually, right. Oh, sort, it actually sort of started off as a Saison. The malt bill was actually um, a Bambier clone. Okay. But I ended up... Did it start out carbonated? Like, 
Oh, oh, <laughs> it's it, you know, it's too cold. I That's can give I can give him crap it's now because he's on the show. Yeah, um, no, but it was um, it started off as a Bambi or clone, and then I didn't have the right yeast, some... and so I just threw some like you know wild yeast at it oh, and wow. let it sit for a while. It smells really good. Yeah, it's Thank got you. a great nose on this. I like this. You know, actually, what part of that was, it was wild? Um, yeah, it got to um, about like six months, and it just wasn't really doing anything, and the Falconer flight. Um, so you got you got out. on your knees. You were like, do something with your life. Yeah, exactly. Do you always want to live in a car, boy? No, that's, that, that's not how I roll. I was coaxing it. I was like, please, baby, please, please do yeah. something. I got in a girlfriend. Yeah, exactly. I thought maybe that would motivate it to get out of the car, boy, but no. Yeah, no. You mean you got a hooker? <laughs> he, he has plastic car boys. And he got I got some hooker yeast boy. and tossed it in there to see what would happen. I'm yeah, basically yeah. the brewer uh. pimp. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was that funny. <laughs> no, I John, re those little John was down. reacting to my hooker yeast comments. <laughs> so yeast and brew pins. Mm -hmm. So you, know, you, you want to make some real money? Go you want to make some real money, beer? Yeah. Come with me. But uh, anyways, no. So I dry hopped it with like two ounces of Falconer's Light, and it gave it this really nice, like lemony kind of thing. So uh, yeah, I really so, like this. This is a this is the in my opinion this is one of the most perfect summer beers I've ever can had. Can we get a cheers? Cheers, cheers. cheers. Yes. Matt thank Becker. Welcome to the show. Thank you so yeah. much. I'm so excited. I'm really glad to be here. So please, New Brew Thursday World. I don't know what to call you. I know there's like you know Twitter Army and, friends. Yeah, yeah. Like, friends Thursday of New Brew is. Thursday. Welcome Matt to the show. His Twitter handle is at Small Batch Brew. Yes, indeed. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're glad to have you on board, and things should get really freaking interesting now. I mean, on a, so on a technical note, like, he knows a lot about brewing beer. He works at a homebrew shop. Slash um, beer store. He blogs yep. about beer. Oh, that's, basically, that's, that's O'Shea Brewing Company. He basically should be on the show more the than way. any of us should be, but... Yeah, well, I no, guess it's, he'll be it, on it, our show. It's like <laughs> a, a missing, like, element, it's a missing component, I think. yeah. Because me and Steve are new to homebrewing. Brett as well. I mean, you, you're very new, but um, you know, it's nice to have okay. Steve's. <laughs> no, you are. Steve's knowledgeable as far as like craft beer goes. I'm semi knowledgeable. Brad, I think we're in the same category there. And, uh, te so and technically, Brad and Trevor before spectrum. both of us did this last summer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope I'm okay. You know, <laughs> so you've been brewing longer than no. I have. Just not as frequent. Just not as frequently. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Mister. How many batches have you done in the last? He's like, I brewed six batches today. <laughs> no, 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 like 11. Oh, okay. 11 and six that's months. Just, that's pretty prolific, I yeah. gotta say. Yeah. Yeah. So we're really excited, and it's gonna, we're going we're gonna to start trying to do more of a blogging component on the site as well, not maybe on the main page, but kind of like a secondary site where you can kind of follow some of our adventures that we don't bring a video camera with, which will be nice, and um, that's going to help us out with we that. We have no idea what... If we do blog, if he blogs, stay tuned. It's gonna be yeah. wild. Yeah, it's gonna things things. We're just shaking things up a little bit because it's about that time in the show where you gotta shake the tree and see what falls yeah. out of it. New back, members, new here. features. We shook the tree and Matt fell out. So hey, that's what happens. You can go to any <laughs> pretty much any tree around here and, and shake, and I'm fall. like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Getting back to the beer though. Um, he swore. On the I, show. Haven't, I haven't. I know. I did. <laughs> what did you say? I, I said holy shit, but you know. And bro, he did it again. <laughs> Well, that's, but that, but that, that's not saying mm, other fuck? stuff. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want to go? John, there. John's more in the show. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back to the beer. Uh, yes. What were you gonna um, say? Oh, uh, it's it's got like a funk on the nose that. Oh uh, yeah. It's, it's definitely got a little funk. It's, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it it's really does. Funk. And you know what it was is um, jelly pumpkin because I actually um, dumped some dregs from a bam beer in this beer initially and. Tell they're... people what a bam beer is. Oh, bam beer is um, this is modeled off of a beer by um, Jolly Pumpkin is one of my favorite breweries out of Dexter, Michigan. Um, if you ever read about them, they have a pretty wide catalog of beers all of which are soured in one form or another. Right. Um, some of them sit for less time in barrels than others, but you know everything is on oak, on bugs for a certain amount of time. And um, Bambier is pretty much their like you know, most widespread, flagship like best, yeah. yeah, their flagship beer. It's a good introduction to their beers as well. Yeah, exactly. It's a really yeah. great. It's like a it's like a low ABV like saisonny kind of sour sort of thing. All of their stuff is really hard to put put. Uh, Put your finger it's on it. They make very unique beers. It's kind yeah. of cool they've become so prolific doing just sour beers. Like that's it's an all incredible story. It is. Yeah. That's all they do. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but um, for home brewers, you know, if you want to do sour beers, one way that you can do it is to actually take the dregs from the bottom of a bottle, you know, in a sanitary manner, just pitch it into your beer. And Jolly Pumpkin is known for having really active dregs. You get all kinds of really funky flavors off of it. You know, not necessarily so much acid, but 
Um, when you say dregs, like how much, like could you just pour an entire bottle, like just pop it fresh mm. and open it? Pour it in? I wouldn't because then you're getting all kinds of like extra stuff in there besides yeah. the yeast, you know, all that mm. alcohol, the flavor of the beer right. itself. Generally, um, what you people let do. It settle. Yeah, I mean, they'll have the bottle unopened. Um, the easiest, you know, way to conserve your dregs mm -hmm. is you pop it and you actually pour the entire thing continuously. So you don't shake up the dregs too much right. and get it into glassware. And then you leave about, you know, half an inch on the bottom, swirl it up and just pitch that directly into your carboy, yeah. you know? Right so um, there's just all kinds of... as if you were, like, making, you know, this, uh, culturing yeast. Yeah, exactly. And you can do a starter with this if you want. Or you can, it, I guess. You're yeah, exactly. I mean, they're the if you want to do sours, you know, the lambics are the best thing to do it with. You know, your Dreyfontainen, your Cantillon dregs, they all have all kinds of wacky bugs in there. But That's also the other reason we brought him on the show is because he can actually pronounce those beers. Dreyfontainen. I call it Dreyfontainen. Dreyfontainen, yeah. yeah. We get so <laughs> much flack from people for not being able to pronounce beers. I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't speak Yeah, you know what, honestly, I'm not even sure if that's really accurate. It's just, you yeah, know, well, it's, it's, it's Dreyfontainen. I was like, he doesn't know how to pronounce yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, it's Dreyfontainen known. Yeah, whatever. exactly. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, Matt, we're yeah. really happy that you're on board. Thank you so we're much. We're really excited to have you. It's really be interesting like to see where it's going to yeah, go here. from here. And uh, this is super sessionable. Yeah, compared thanks. to like the last two beers we had. Yeah, it came out to like five percent. So I mean, like, you could literally take down yeah. this no problem. Oh, wow. so, I'm pretty stoked. I didn't know it's five, it's five percent. percent really. Five percent yeah. alcohol. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good stuff. Man. So we're gonna that. go ahead and finish out this <laughs> bottle, Sign and then uh, until next week, stay cheers. safe and drink beer. Cheers. Cheers. I get the lavender. Yeah, lavender. lavender. Just, yeah, it just. It, it, but it's not. I've had lavenders before that have been. Uh, somebody uh, just burnt the cut. Somebody just burnt the toast again. Fire alarm would go off again if it could. <laughs>